Hello everyone and welcome back to our Expert Expert Low Iron Man campaign series. This is going to be my second session with the Northern Raiders. It's going to be a shorter session. I have a little bit of time right now. Probably play for about 40 minutes. Let's just take a quick peek at our roster. Day 6. We don't have a lot of renown because we've only completed one or two contracts right now. Two people died. One of them was our best guy, unfortunately. But other than that, we're doing really good. I mean, we got nine guys. None of them are really that great. Uh, actually, no, we got one, two. We have like three S guys. There we go. There's a double S guy. But a couple of pole arms, lots of shields, lots of swords. So it's going pretty well. We had just finished this uh, raider camp. Four raiders and four thugs. So we should be able to, now that this was our second mission for Dinkle's Mark, we should be able to get to friendly now, which is going to help us get renowned a lot faster. Let's see what we got here. Sub engine. Where's that sub engine? Small village. Okay. Okay, he's good. Two good shields, a little bit pricey. These 80s are good. We've got these throwing axes. I didn't notice that till now. I can get rid of these now. All right, so we need tools. That's that's the biggest thing. See if any, we can give those throwing axes to anybody. This guy could use throwing axes. 43 is good. Thinking about maybe getting this hooked bill for 842. I think I'm going to grab that. I don't want to spend any more money because we need to get tools. Maybe maybe we'll head this way, see if we can uncover the map a little bit, and then head down here and finish the contract. Okay, that's a good one. Do a little armor check here.
Be nice having this hook bill for this fight. They have the high ground. Ooh, that's nice that he's coming out like that. Uh, I'm going to try and engage here. That was what I wanted. I just wanted them to abandon that position of uh, that high ground that they had. Got to be careful with these guys. Just wait with him right now. Wait. Wait. Okay, May Adrenaline. These guys are good. Markov is good. This guy's good too. Okay. flank with this guy. I was trying to bump him over here so I could move him down here. That way we could just tank him for a little while and then kill everybody else, but it didn't work out. What does this guy have? Can't really see what he has. Looks like he has a full Akleton cap, which is a 50. Helm. I'm... I'm not really sure. I can't see his armor very well. This guy has a nice helm. Maybe we could farm it from him. I'm going to wait. Try and get the surround on this guy. He's got an axe, that's pretty dangerous. Okay, he's catching breath. No point in attacking right now if it's only 5%. Really nothing for this guy to do right now. Nothing for him to do either. Seventeen percent. Just try and because this guy's shield is damaged, just try and save his shield. Still only have a 16% chance. Uh, I'm going to wait with him right now. Karsten. This guy has a knife. have this guy try try and farm him okay wavering good still don't have enough knives All right. 
He's in, he's in a lot of trouble over there. Let's do this. Let's adrenaline him. Eight percent. That's it. Right, we gotta get in with him now. Okay. Still wavering. Breaking, so see this is where not having knives is very costly. He's up in two turns. Maybe we can bump him. and bump him. Uh, he's not dead though, Jero. He's close. Let's get this guy in. No, didn't get him. Okay. This game really tests your patience sometimes. don't know what kind of armor he has. It's nighttime. It's hard to tell, but fortunately we damaged that full Akleton cap. All right, so we didn't get his helmet. We got the other guy's helmet. We got an 82. Two uncut gems. That was great. Uh, Falcion, this axe is good too. So hijacking caravans is great. It just it doesn't give you renown. That's the biggest issue. Let's
can see we got a lot of decent armor once we get it repaired. Which is really going to be next time we go to town. This guy's got 71 attack. That's pretty good. At this stage of the game. There's a town over here. I wanted to see if it's hostile to us or not. Got to be a little bit careful walking into enemy territory. So that's why I'm going on these mountains. Just try and see ahead a little bit. So that answers the question. It's a massive stone citadel that's hostile to us. I think maybe I'll try and go back to Himmelsfest. Now that we got all those uncut gems, should be able to make a pretty penny. Ancient noble burial ground in the desert some way from here. Okay, that doesn't really help us that much. Okay, this guy for 190, yeah. Farmhand for 190. Okay. Two crappy traits, but man, 118 fatigue, 64 double star. This guy is is solid. Yeah, I mean maybe even an S. He's he's good. Nice to get some more pole arms. Okay, let's grab that knife. We need that. And let's grab these tools. Okay, you take a knife. Like, our, our best guy doesn't have a knife for some reason. I'm not sure how that happened. Let's move this guy into the front now that we have a better recruit. Give him this stuff. Got a 35 in the front. It's not going to be good enough. Let's repair this other 35. Um, a couple of these shields we'll repair. Finger bone of Sir Gerhard. All right, let's uh, let's accept it. I want to see where it is. It's over here. I'm gonna head back this way. Okay, good. So we finished that. Maybe I, I'm I'm thinking about maybe checking this fight out. 
Yeah, we don't have any tools, so no, I'm not going to check it out right now. I'm going to head over here, sell some of these gems. Be nice to get up to a full roster, and then we can go take that two-star contract. And hopefully we can get the battle standard ambition next. That would that's really what I'm looking for. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to stop here. Sorry, I didn't have as much time as I thought I did. Thanks for watching, everybody. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had I had a commitment that I forgot about. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to edit the video. So, let's see. I'm trying to remember what we were doing. We have no tools at all. I think that's what we we're doing. We we're coming over here to get tools. That's a nice helm for 379. Bill hook for 1069. War fork. Okay, a lot of nice. Okay, I remember what we were doing. So there was a two star contract over here. I wanted to go over here, sell some stuff, try and get some tools. How many do we need? We need at least one, but probably, realistically, probably two. They get a lot of good stuff here. I could try and repair these three things to make a little bit of extra money, but it's probably barely worth it. Just think about what I want to do here. Maybe another set of tools, maybe leather armor. What is this, a 65? I mean, I just, I keep getting drawn back to this bill hook. It's such a good weapon. It's, it's a little bit too much money, though. I'd have to sell that. This helmet is really nice, too. I need better helmets, but... Let me just think for a minute here. Because we're going to need more tools. If we go over here, we go back here. There might not be any tools here. We might might have to come back here or go to Dinklefest. Dinkle's Mark. <laughs> I, uh, I want to get that bill hook, though. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to try and do. I was going to try and get get up to 12 guys. But 
I think this is just too good. We need to grab this. I guess I guess we don't need all these swords right now. We'll we'll get more swords. Nice knife too for 152. I think I'm just gonna sell all of this stuff. Let's see what that gets gets us to 650. Afternoon. Okay. This this is this is pushing it pretty close here. Let me just let me do a little math here. I, I'd really like to get that helmet. It's going to give me 285 crowns, so I'll actually have I'll have two days worth of crowns. So I should be fine. This guy the bill hook. Can take the arming sword. Looking at the resolve of my guys on the end, 46 isn't bad. It's not amazing, but looks like that's the best we got. All right, so I would say that that was very fruitful. Ah, unfortunately it was the very, very end of afternoon. But I think we'll still be okay. We get two days worth of wages. I wanted to buy an extra set of tools, but I bought the helmet instead. I forgot I wanted an extra set of tools, but... Okay, um, let's see if they have tools here. No. This camp was legionary, uh, auxiliaries and some legionaries, so I was just trying to think if we could do that, because that's, that's a pretty easy ambition, typically. Yeah, see, some brigand thugs, so could have very easily just fulfilled that ambition right now. So if I go over here, yeah, I'm not going to get to a thousand. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to wipe these guys out now. Would have been perfect.
Just trying to get surround bonuses right now is what I'm doing. Um, do we want to farm these 65s? I think we probably should. See, a lot of guys still don't have knives. None of these guys have knives. Good, we got another bill hook. That's good. Some tools. 365s. Very nice. 255s too. Too bad we didn't pick that other ambition. Um, I think I'll take this. Seventy, seventy-five. Let's give this to him. Sixty-five. He's got an eighty. They both got 65s now. All right, got another pitchfork. I 
think we want to relocate our good guys to the back now. So he got 74, 71. So we'll give him the hooked bill. He sucks. Where's the banner man? Okay, he's pretty good. Let's put him on the end, Markov. have a better helmet for him. Right, we'll have to be a little bit careful with him. You know, I know I've been moving people around a lot. That's just because we're kind of in the beginning stages of the game. It should it should get better from here on out. This is going to be kind of a more permanent configuration, so it looks good now. So I'll leave my good guys in the back till they hit maybe level five, level six. We can think about moving to, to, to the front. Damn, nine auxiliaries, huh? Would have been nice to have more guys in the front for this fight. Okay, looks like we have this nice area we can kind of bring everybody back back to. You know, we could also just retreat and then give more people swords and, and shields. We could do that as well, but I'm going to try not to do that because this terrain over here is, is pretty good.
This is pretty nice over here too, but I think we're already committed to what we're doing. So I have 10 guys here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. This is not blocking, um, it's not blocking vision. So this is actually good, very good for us. Maybe move him here, can go here. Just looking at his melee defense versus this guy, Hartbert. Where's Hartbert? Okay, so I'm gonna have to move. Dieter, Kunald, and Markov. Let's just see who's the best out of them. 27 is good. 26. Right, so Dieter and Kunald, I would say, are the best. Just looking at everybody's melee defense, I'm thinking about how I want to position my back line. This guy Rourke has the most melee defense, so I think I'm going to move him over here and then move Jormel. But on the other hand, I'd like to have these two weapons like kind of in, in a prime time spot. So. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that though. Got eight melee defense. Right, so I'm going to move him over here, and then I'm going to move this guy over here. Like they're all coming at us from this direction so maybe try and fortify up there a little bit more
This is interesting because I don't I actually don't know this game mechanic here. If I move this guy here, can the enemy move here or will they retreat? I don't know. This guy has 15 melee defense though. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to do that. So, you know, I have no idea what's going to happen. The worst thing that could happen is they get up here, they don't retreat, and then they have high ground on us. Doggo in. Maybe he can do something. Okay, he's still steady. That's good. My strategy fighting these guys is just hit the guys with the higher hit chance. He's got a shield wall going, so I'm going to hit this guy. Beautiful. Um... I'm gonna adrenaline with him. He's got a 48% chance to hit this guy. It's worth it's worth a shot. Just hitting this guy, we got a higher hit chance. Forty two, forty two, forty seven, nice. Thirty four, twenty nine. Adrenaline. Good. Get some nice helmets this fight. That'll be good. Okay, he's steady still. Steady. These guys have fearsome if you didn't know. Good. Good. Return, so.
All right, you can see that the bill hook just absolutely wrecked in that fight. All right, we got four of these 95s, good amount of money. Okay, that was a slam dunk. head back here and look at this fight again. See, it's many legionaries, so that's no chance of that one at this point. If it was many auxiliaries, we could have maybe tried it. This is a good fight. A few thugs, a marksman. It's nighttime now, so that's good. Just check armor here. Okay, they're coming towards us, so I'd rather fight them in the road. I guess they're confident they can beat us. That's a mistake. All right, so their marksman does not have a crossbow. That's great. But I'm not going to go in any further than that right now because I don't want to get surrounded. Ooh, he's got a flail. Just looking to see which of my guys have good melee defense. His melee defense sucks. That should start the fight. I 
I guess they're content to stay back because they have the archer. We don't have anybody. In these kind of fights, I try and I try to kill the thugs first. That's that's my goal. And I'm just going to try and stay out of range of this guy as much as possible. I did that because we really kind of need like one more guy in the front. We, got, we have a little bit too many pole arms right now. So this guy was going to come in and engage him anyway, so I'd rather him just double grip the sword. I need to leave this guy here to protect these guys with the pole arms. That's what we wanted. We wanted him to come in and finally commit. Okay, both of their turns are done though. I'm gonna wait. I want these polearm guys to attack first. Uh, we might have to shield wall with this guy. Yeah, see, they're they're going after him. I want to kill this guy with the flail. I want to kill him. Okay, wait. Kill this guy. Because I don't want Dieter to die, even though he sucks. Uh, actually, this guy has a bill hook, huh? I think we'll equip the bill hook and adrenaline. Let's do this. Because this is the guy I'm worried about. I guess that guy was fleeing, huh? I'm trying to kill this guy to protect this guy right here. Maybe farm this guy, he's wavering. But I think it's too risky right now. I shouldn't have moved that guy up because he's gonna come over here now. I 
Okay, that's good. So maybe we can get that helmet, maybe even this uh, this armor. All right, he's done. This guy still does not have a a knife. fleeing. Uh, so I'll just get this around on him then. Two nineties, two nice helmets, flails great. It was a good fight, very good fight. This guy Rourke is actually strong enough that he could use the flail, I think. Quick hands. He can use the flail or the pole arm. Get some of these 90s in the front here. Is that a 75? Give him this. Hmm. These swords are an upgrade too. This guy's going to be our banner man. He's already looking reasonably solid. His HP is low. I mean, hopefully that fight showed you how strong this company is already. Very, very strong. Grab these. I'm trying to think if we can get enough money for the battle standard. Not quite yet, I don't think. We'd have to sell too many things to get it right now.
think maybe it's time to head down this way. See if we can find another town where we can get some contracts. This looks like it's going to the city-state here. Ambush trade routes. Two nomads? I think we can handle that. Bunch of crappy backgrounds. That is probably hyenas. Might be serpents, though. All right, I don't think we can do that. The Zin infest. Yeah, we can't do that. Let's just cancel that one. Good opportunity to make a little bit of money with ambush trade routes. All right, well, it looks like we can get the battle standard. Especially if I do this arena fight now. Two nets, okay. That's interesting. Let me just think about who we want to use for the arena fight. Definitely this guy. This guy can, like, tank for us. He's got 33 melee defense. That's pretty good. This guy's not bad. 70 attack. 74 attack. So I would say these three guys would be our three. So if we, if we try to tank with this guy. That might be a little excessive, three shields. Can use, these two guys can have pole arms. Oh, got another 95 here. Him the ninety five. All right, that looks pretty good.
Guy doesn't have adrenaline, unfortunately. Nice kill. Right? See, that's what good preparation does in this game. Alright, so let's see if we can get the battle standard now. We have enough money. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Um, got a little bit of money we can spend. I want to have over 2,000. I don't really see anything here that's too exciting. You know, I haven't played this game in a while. Usually, I have a system of de-equipping guys, so it's not as tedious, but I forgot to do that. some more knives if they have any knives. They don't. Okay, there we go. Eleven nachos? Okay. That's kind of, that's kind of a lot. Um I need more guys in the front line for this fight.
This cleaver's actually really strong in this fight. Maybe I should give the cleaver to this guy. That looks good. You know, it's tedious um, equipping everybody like this every fight, but it's it's really necessary in Iron Man. I mean, make one mistake, and uh, you can lose the entire campaign. I'm not happy seeing that the fifth one of these guys is big. That's not good. Because if they have a lot of big guys, this is going to be a very, very tough fight. I'm just going to try and take this high ground here. Might as well. That's what I want to see is more small guys. This looks better now. That's nine guys. So there's probably three big ones. attack yet because I want to try and get the surround bonuses. When is this guy up one turn? Yeah, see the AI is coming over here because they love this high ground. They just they can't help themselves. All right, I want to kill this big guy. He's dangerous. I like to damage these guys without actually killing them a lot of times. And I'm going to move him up just so they can't eat the body. He's exposed. He's only got 18 melee defense, but yeah, I think he's not going to get killed. He might get banged up a little bit. See, now that they're um, all of them except for this guy is in somebody's zone of control, now I can get more aggressive with killing people. Okay, so now they're all in, in a zone of control. Just want to try and help this guy right here, Rourke. And 
this guy's in a little bit of trouble too. 60. Uh, he's already fleeing though, so. Let's just do that. Just this guy that is not fleeing yet. making sure I'm repairing all my armor. Alright, I think I'll probably stop there. So day 10, we got 10 guys. We don't have a lot of great recruits, but... You know, I mean, these guys are getting the job done for now. Getting better recruits is going to be... Uh, a big priority moving forward. Does this guy have Colossus? He's only got 65 HP with Colossus. I'm going to have to give him more. Oh, this guy's got a permanent injury. Okay. So he's awful, so we'll probably fire him so we can get Drill Sergeant. But not yet, because he's still useful right now. Just trying to think of what I can give him. Normally I'd give him Shield Expert, but because of this, it's not really going to do a lot. Minus 30% melee defense. Because when he when he uses shield wall, he's gonna get a more significant bonus. He kinda needs the help. Actually, let's try that again. All right, I think give him quick hands too because normally he's in the back I move these guys up for this fight but he's using the bill hook normally and this guy is going to use the flail so we can give him the two handed cleaver as a, as a backup
What are we going to do with this guy? He's another one of these kind of guys that could be a good uh, two-hander back line. That's a build that I use a lot. It's, it's a guy who doesn't... He's got a lot of melee skill. He doesn't have a ton of melee defense. You just kind of leave him in the back most of the time with a pole arm. But occasionally, tacti tactically, you can get aggressive with him with a two-handed weapon. We don't have a two-handed weapon right now, but we should probably be getting one soon. And so for now, I'll just give him a sword. Let's give him the war fork because he's got more attack than these other guys. All right, so I'm going to stop there. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe.